Hey guys, it's Jen. Today we're gonna to be chatting. We're gonna be talking about fall. We're gonna be talking about some things in my personal life. And I'm gonna be showing you my favorite fall items. And I'm really glad that you're here. When I was getting ready to film this video, I told Scott I was gonna film a video about my autumnal favorites. And he was like, you're what? And I said, my autumnal favorites. And he argued with me saying that the word autumnal is not commonly used and people won't know what I'm talking about. But I have faith in you guys. I think you know that word. I happen to love that word. But these are gonna be my autumn favorites, a couple of new things that I've purchased, a couple of things that I've had for a while, but I just love this time of year. And we're gonna start with the smells of fall. Now I'm coming to you in my dining room. I have my fall decor behind me. And there's just something about fall and candles. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it starts getting dark earlier. I am really affected by light. So candles kind of help compensate for the fact that the sun starts to go down a lot earlier. Um, I just really like candles all over my house. I love the electric, or I guess these are battery powered ones. Um, these ones are, I think, let me look at these expensive ones because you know, you guys, you can get these at all different price points. I bought these off of QVC last year. They are my favorite. They are by the company Luminara. And I will see if I can find a link. It's not sponsored or anything, but these are by far my favorite battery operated candles. They last forever on two C batteries. I mean, not forever, but really I didn't have to change them out at all last season. And I did put fresh batteries in this one as we started this season, but I was really impressed with how long they stayed lit. This is by the way, the same company that does the candles for the haunted mansion. So, you know, little, little Disney thing in there. Never hurts to have a little Disney thing. I also love them. And I was chatting with my neighbor about this because if you have either the white or the cream, they don't have that like goldish glow. It definitely feels like a more true light. And I'm not huge on like all of the candle decorating, but I do have the timer on on these. And I just love that as the sun starts to go down, all of my uh, you know, battery operated candles kind of come to life and it just makes the house feel so cozy. I have three that are here. I have more in the entryway and fall decorating is definitely one of my favorite things. Now, if we're going to talk real candles, there are a couple of scents that I am obsessed with when it comes to real candles. I am always more of a Yankee candle girl than a Bath and Body Works girl, although I do have a Bath and Body Works candle here. Um, this one is Yankee Candle Autumn Leaves, which I love. My favorite Yankee Candle scent was sold out when they just had their big sale. So I actually have that on on back order, but that is Autumn Wreath. Oh my gosh, I love that smell so much. I always burn through an entire one this time of year. Um, so hopefully they're gonna get more of those back in stock, but this one's pretty nice, the Autumn Leaves. And one of the things I love about the Yankee Candle is they tend to never do the little well thing in the bottom. So they burn really well and they burn for a really long time. So love this scent. And then of course, and I feel like everybody knows about this scent, but Leaves, which is the Bath and Body Works candle or White Barn candles, same thing. Um, love this scent. This one happens to be the Three Wick. This one comes in all different forms and sometimes the outside might look different depending on when you order yours. But I have this candle not only in the candle scent but also in the plugins because I, oh, the smell of that, I just love it. And then this other thing is not, it, it's a candle that's not gonna smell, but I'm kind of obsessed. Um, these lanterns are from Amazon. They are solar powered. Now these will be an affiliate link. I do get a tiny commission, but it isn't much. And I'll put it down in the description box. A friend of mine that lives in Texas posted these on her Facebook wall. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have those. So the reason I love them so much is they are solar powered. So there are no batteries to change. There's nothing to plug in and they are indoor outdoor. So I have actually put four of them out on my front porch. I have a little bit of video here that I'll show you that's what they look like at night. Yes, it is a little Pirates of the Caribbean e. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean-ish, maybe is what I should say. 
but the glow on them is super fun and especially for Halloween, very, very safe. I mean, honestly, if you wanted to be kind of cool, you could even like carry these around your neighborhood if you wanted. I know we're not gonna be doing trick or treating and my kids are way too old for that anyway, but I thought, you know, a parent could carry that instead of a flashlight and you would just feel like so in the spirit of things. They are $22, no, yeah, $22 a piece, $42 for a pack of two. I got four of them. And from what I'm hearing and from the reviews, literally you don't have to worry about them. You turn them on, there's just a little button right here. They charge during the day through solar power and they go on and off automatically when the sun goes down. So these, these are the only real big purchase that I have made for the fall and I'm completely obsessed, absolutely loving these. So I'm gonna show you guys this next thing because <laughs> I always ask my son, uh, one of the sons that's not in college right now, he's doing school online, um, is, is a really good, like really good about lettering. And so uh, I asked him to please do something on the chalkboard that always goes in the entryway. And if you saw this on social media, you already know how hilarious this is. And I think he thought I would erase it, but no. This is his fall message. And I'm hoping that you can see this. It says dumpster fire fall. <laughs> And I was going to erase it, but I was like, no, I'm not going to erase it because number one, nobody's coming over. We're the ones that are going to see it. And number two, hashtag accurate, like 100%. That is how I feel. So uh, let's see. Now, don't forget to wait until the end of the video because I am going to share with you guys some personal stuff that if you're a regular fan of the channel, I want to make sure you listen to. All right. Another fall favorite I want to share with you guys is this mask. Now, Tory Burch is selling these masks as a benefit for the Tory Burch Foundation, which I love. They are $35 for five masks. And I actually haven't even opened this one yet, but I have bought Vera Bradley masks, which I also love. I have used, of course, the disposable ones. I have used all different kinds of masks at this point. These from Tory Burch are by far my favorite. In fact, I have my other ones in the wash right now. I bought a set. I gave some to people at my hairdresser's office. I, office, I guess, my hairdressers. Um, I gave some to my doctor's office. They, um, so here's why they're so great. Number one, they look really cute because the patterns are all adorable because, you know, Tory Burch. Number two, it's not, it looks like cotton, but it's not. It's actually like a tech fabric. They are two layer, so you can put a filter in these. This is especially great if you work in a medical office, you can have the filter to change out. And then they have a little adjustable ear pieces. Now, I'm not gonna try it on because I have lipstick on and I don't wanna get lipstick on it, but the comfort level on these, especially because they have the little piece that pinches, so they have the wire that's right there, just trust me, they fit great. I talk a lot, as we know. <laughs> And one of the things I love about them is I can talk and it doesn't move up and down my face. So I'm not having to mess with it. And I think we can all agree that if you're touching your mask, you're kind of almost, you're not defeating the purpose, but it's less effective. You don't want to touch your mask. So anytime you can have one that's actually going to stay in place. So I highly recommend the Tory Burch masks. Now, Let's move on to handbags. Um, I think a lot of us uh, switch out our bags in the fall. I bought an adorable coach bag that was in leather that I was hoping to use this fall. However, because of the great unpleasantness, I have opted for a crossbody that I can clean. And I have pulled out this travel on, travel on crossbody bag. Now, those of you that have watched any of my packing videos on the other channel or on this channel know that Travelon is one of my favorite products. Their stuff lasts forever. This bag, for example, I have had for at least two years. I've taken it all over Europe and it still looks brand new. I love that it's a crossbody and here's why. As I'm out and about, I want to be touching my bag as little as possible. So I don't want to have to really touch it much at all, except for maybe to pull my wallet out. And the way that this is designed, it's so easy to pull what you need out. And you've got this big front pocket. You've got a really great zipper pocket here that's close to your body. And then you've got your big pocket in here which is full of my stuff. So I won't, I mean, it's pretty well organized, but I won't show you everything in there. 
I am preferring this to leather because leather, obviously, I'm not gonna wipe down with a disinfectant wipe, but because this is this kind of vinyl material, very, very durable, I can wipe this down easily when I get home from being out and about. I think if you're like me, you know, I am starting to venture out more, I'm running more errands, I'm going to doctor's appointments and things like that. And so I wanna make sure that anything that I'm wearing out in public that cannot be washed can be sanitized. And a lot of our nicer handbags unfortunately don't fall in that category. So this has become my go-to bag and it's really, really comfortable. So I will definitely put the link to this in the description box. As I said, this is also the bag that, you know, saw me all over Europe. So just love it and it's a fantastic bag. Okay, so that's really all I have to share by way of stuff for this fall. There wasn't a lot of things. I am finding myself just not really buying that much stuff. And also because of what I'm gonna share next, I've just got kind of a lot going on in my life right now and it's making me not wanna buy a bunch of things uh, just because I'm focused on my health. But I did wanna share with you guys that I have been having some health struggles. A couple of you picked up on that on Instagram. And I wasn't going to share it here. And then I was sharing it with my patrons and a few of them reached out and said, you know, I've really thought about having that. And I'm so glad you talked about it. And I thought, you know what, I've been so open about everything else. I might as well be open about this as well. But um, I have been having a lot of problems with my cycles. Um, part of it is because of my Hashimoto's. We do tend to struggle a lot with fibroids and it's been going on for years and I've been able to use different ways to mitigate it. But now that I'm older, um, like I was on the pill for a long time to mitigate it, but they don't want you to be on the pill over a certain age. And um, I just started having a lot more problems and I've been anemic and there's been issues. And so my doctor in the last few weeks has really decided that we either needed to be looking at hysterectomy or an ablation. So we're gonna start with the ablation and I am having that done on Tuesday. It is a non-invasive surgery, but it is surgery. So I do get put completely out for it, general anesthesia. Um, all of the things. Uh, I've been told that I should be feeling a little puny for about a week. Uh, and it's not that, uh, I think it's gonna be probably the anesthesia that's gonna cause that more than anything, but also there can be some cramping and some other things. And uh, Sarah, my really good friend who is an anesthesiologist was really clear with me. She's like, everybody's different. You may not have you know, very much pain at all, or you may have a lot of pain. And she knows that I tend to expect too much of myself. So I really am going to take at least a week just to heal. Uh, you know, this isn't like a normal job filming videos. I do have to be upbeat and feel good to get in front of the camera. So I am gonna take some time off, uh, but don't give up on me. If you guys would watch older videos, I would really appreciate it because it always, I don't know. I, I always say that, and uh, well, I actually don't say that. Numbers do matter to me. <laughs> So if you could watch older videos to keep those numbers up, that would be great. Share older videos, tell your friends about me. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a little break and I probably won't be on social media or I may be on social media nonstop. Like this is, this is kind of how a lot of us are, I think. I don't know what I'm going to need, but I know I'm gonna need permission to do or not do according to what I need. So it may mean that I'm over on Instagram chatting like crazy just because I'm kind of bored as I'm trying to let my body heal. So make sure you're following me over there because you never know. Um, or it may mean that I kind of go into radio silence and you guys are always so great about checking up on me. So that's what's going to be going on. Um, I'm not worried about it. I'm actually really looking forward to the surgery because it will hopefully take care of some of these problems that have been plaguing me for, gosh, over a year we've been dealing with this and it's definitely time to get something done. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, and, you know, it's weird. I, it's not like I'm, it's not gonna be fun. Let me put it that way. But thankfully Scott is off work and I've got two of the three boys here. So I have plenty of support and uh, they've already, one of my sons got a playlist for me of movies all ready to go. And they're gonna take really good care of me. So don't worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. But if you could send up prayers and pixie dust, I would really appreciate it. Okay, that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. I hope whatever you're doing, you're finding joy and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.